Prepare for trouble! Make it double! What's poppin' people? Welcome back to a brand new video and what a video it is for you guys today. We're finally returning to the Team Rocket Special Edition on here on the channel. I am so excited to bring in you guys this. They have just dropped the brand new beta for it. It looks absolutely insane. I did see some pre-release and screenshots. Looks absolutely incredible. If you guys haven't played this or if you guys don't remember this, um, around three weeks ago, uh, or more to be fair, it could be like four weeks ago, uh, we played through the Team Rocket Special Edition. You guys absolutely loved it, and a lot of you guys really want me to go through this game rather than just like skipping a lot of stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually play through the game now, kind of like what we did with Unbound, but let us get into this. If you guys are excited for the return, and I know you guys are, please go ahead and destroy the thumbs up button for me. Exceed 300 likes for me. It'll mean the absolute world to me. Let's kick back off the Team Rocket Special Edition with a bang, people. This is part Part 3, let us get it. So, in the previous episode, they left it off where uh, Giovanni was just about to tell us basically what had happened between the whole Project Mewtwo and the secret Great War that happened. I left it here, and he's just about to tell us. I am so excited for this, I genuinely am. So, the things that happened in the secret in the final year of the war, I never thought I'd tell it to a mere grunt, but... I believe you've proven yourself worthy of hearing it, and you're going to work with me to set things straight. It's best you heard it clean from me. This is where we left it! I'm going to tell you everything. This is where we left it. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I waited so long for this. It was 11 years ago. Kanto's war effort was going badly. It was clear that we could not win by force alone. But we had something that Lance and his boys didn't not. Something we knew was the key to victory. Yo, look at Oak. Yo, why is Giovanni there? The minds of the brightest scientist in the nation. Ever since the start of the war, Oak had been leading of number secret initiatives to capture and harness the power of one Pokemon. And this is Mewtwo? One so rare, they mail him and thought it was just a legend. Yo, where's this? What? And where's Blaine going? But legends didn't win wars. Oak knew better. Oh, it's Mew! Yo, I thought it was Mewtwo! Once word got by that Dr. Fuji had at last caught hold of Mew, we knew there was no chance the public could know. That's insane. It was the best for to keep with the secret and only our chance of winning. But Mew could not be a bra brain shed like Artelia on the battlefield like the way Lance did to his Jodo dogs, and nor did Oak expect it could. Yo, what the hell? By far the strongest Pokemon in existence, but contained the body to the most benevolent and soft-headed creature you could ever see. We couldn't make the thing knock out a magic art for sport, let alone ravage the crowd of enemy monsters in the field. It's crazy that Giovanni and Oak were actually working together. So Oak decided on another solution. To harness Mew's power, they would create from its genetic clone, con uh, conditioned from the birth to be void of empathy and to possess an inner urge power. It's a battle, sorry. They called it the Mewtwo Project. Dun, dun, dun. At the time, I was the richest man in Kanto, an devout member of Oak's Elite Four. I wanted to do everything I could for Kanto, but I feuded the Pondra, so I funded the project. I can't even speak, holy crap. There's too much! There's too much! An impressive team was assembled. Blaine, Fuji, Bill, and Professor Shige Shigeki? Kanto's authority on generic uh, engineering. Each member was a genius in his own right and wasn't afraid to work day and night for months as a chance to save Kanto. But... Look, look at all the ditto. The project proved much more difficult than expected. Most test causes came out as formless half-dead pieces of flesh that did not resemble Mew in any way. So that was ditto. One of the clearly early failures of practically nasty. Oh my lord. Through eloquent and erratic and disgustingly shapeless at the others, this newborn monster had inherited Mew's strength. What the hell? Yo, it broke free? It broke free from the test tube and escaped the lab, killing several of the earlier specimen in its, wa specimen in its wake. 
This little incident became known as the Catastrophe, and it scared the scientists as well as it did me. I began to lose faith in my investment, and I think Oak was starting to feel the same way. Luckily, however, Dr. Fuji soon gave new hope to the project. Fuji suggested a way to contain Mew's power within a solid uh, center body. By creating a clone that would combine Mew's DNA with that of a human. What? Initial tests proved promising and the scientists agreed to contribute a sample of their own DNA to use the Mew clone. That's crazy. That is absolutely wilding. Oak was the only one who refused to provide a DNA sample. His skepticism for the project had been now risen to a peak. Ironically, however, Fuji's theory pr uh, proved correct. Sooner than anyone could anticipate, the team had produced the Define Mew 2. A human-like, insanely, insanely powerful psychic Pokemon, possessing the called Bloodthirsty Mind and Supreme Intelligent. Yo, what the hell? <laughs> Before anyone could prepare for the field, however, the Mew 2 project reached its natural collision. Yo, they've actually got the armor on it. Devoid of empathy, a disturbance intelligent, the newborn clone could find no reason to fight for Kanto's cause. Oh, Jesus! Why the war did not appeal to Mewtwo, and we couldn't quite say, but it refused to be used as a military weapon. And when we insisted, it rebelled. Yo, that looks insane. What the hell? Yo, so, yo, do you guys remember in the, so that's, yo, that's crazy. With psychic powers, we had no means to control Mewtwo ruined the lab and escaped the scientists who have given it life. It's crazy how they're actually tying this in with the actual how, you know, when you play through Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, that's how it looks. Driven, we believe, by desire to find worthy Pokemon opponents, it sought refuge in the depths of a notorious dangerous cave outside Cerulean City. As far as I know, that's where it still hides to this day. No capture expedition since, not by the government, by us or any other party that matters, has been successful. Soon after Mewtwo's escape, it was all over. But like, what happened to the Ditto? Oak announced Kanto surrendered to the Lance and Jodo, ending the war. That's crazy. We had done our best to destroy all evidence of the project, but there was no hiding the team's involvement in some kind of military research. Fuji was the first to throw in the towel. God damn it, Fuji. The old coward openly pledged to his allegiance to Lance, accepting any terms they gave him. Blaine and Bill were more reluctant. But they eventually followed suit. Oh my lord. Now, as to this Shigeki... Who even is this man? Nobody knows. The old guy has been missing ever since the end of the war. What? And me? Well, Lance stripped me of my Elite Four position right away. And Oak... Oh my lord, the trader left me to fend myself, as if I haven't invested my heart and soul, let alone my personal fortune, to defend a home now taken over by foreign aggressors. Yo, this storyline is insane. I knew it wasn't right. I knew that I, a Kanto at large, had been cheated of a battle that we could have won. And I vowed that if Lance could not take it down through legitimate means... That's crazy. That I would cripple him from inside. I never look back. Holy crap! Oh my god, that story development though! So now you see, Ghost, why recent de uh, developments have very concern indeed. Ariana, darling, I need you to leave the Viridian. We have no time to waste. With this red twerp running around, we can't leave the gym unmanned. You will guard it in my absence. If that's what you want, Giovanni, but he won't like it. Our, our boy. 
nonsense. My son will come with you at the very end if need be. It will do him good. So they're talking about Silda? Very well, Giovanni. I will be on my way. That's crazy. Listen, ghost. Oak must despise everyone who worked on the Mewtwo project. If all of a sudden he has business with Fuji after all these years, it can't be good news. I can't imagine, but he still believes that he could find some way to get at Mewtwo after all these years. But supposing he did, we have to know. That's why, Ghost, I want you to go to Pallet Town yourself. Confront Oak in his lab and get to the bottom of what he's up to. If that means resorting to force, then so be it. The old guy is banned from Pokemon Battle, so he's not likely to put up a match against Fight anyway. And while you're there, do see if you can gather any more information about this red kid or his family from the locals. Any key information, any weakness that we can find, we can exploit, will be a great help. All clear, Ghost? Very good. Just one more thing before you go. Ghost was promoted to Rocket Advent! Yeah, boy! <laughs> Your boy is finally an admin! Holy crap, yo! And we get a whole new suit as well? I'll say it's about time. You've earned my trust, Ghost. Your boy! With this raising rank, I think you'll have no trouble stealing from Pokemon from teenagers or women trainers. You'll also be obliged to carry out one of these. The Rocket Pager! Yo, that's insane! I'm so happy. This device will beat whenever I want all my admins or Rocket back to HQ. If it goes off, I expect you to make it over here as soon as you possibly can. That's all. You've shown a lot of promise, Ghost. That's why I've chosen to invest in you like this. Do not let it go to waste. Is that understood? Now off with you, admin. No time to waste. Yo, we're actually an admin! We failed, boss. We couldn't keep the kid away from him. Yes! I am a boss! <laughs> Yo, wait! Oh, my boy, though. Wait till my boy sees me. He'll be like, bro. He's gonna be so mad. I am now... What the hell? I'm already back here? Yo. I wonder what Patel is gonna say to me. Hey, they promoted you. Does that mean you're more bad than I am? Jealous. You going to Viridian City 2 now? Yo. Hey, Ghost! Yo, yo, yo! Damn, boy, what's with that new getup? Say what? They made a little ghost and admin now, did they? Well, no jokes. So now you can roll women and TJ and is it? Aw, oh, Ronnie, I'm sorry, my guy. Ha, <laughs> congrats, bud. You know, given all my inborn gangster skills, it speaks to my modesty that they didn't promote me too yet, doesn't it? Now, now, any more juicy news? Oh, you're gonna pallet town to interrogate Professor Oak? Dude, no way, that's too rad. You know, they, they didn't give me a new mission yet. Aw, oh, Ronnie, my guy, I'm sorry. Now, why is that not a prime opportunity? I'll come with you to pallet town and we'll beat up the old professor together. Oh man, faint is too, <laughs> is too kind sometimes, isn't she, ghost? Well, pallet town, that's west of Kanto, so either go from Mount Moon or through that pesky Diglett cave off by the pavilion, and we'll be right track. Right on, let's get cracking. You have better be the good cop, ghost, because I'm bad as hell. Yo, what the hell? So, Ronnie's coming with us. Oh, we got a pager. The pager's going. Hi there, Ghost. It's been a while. Fill me in on the latest rocket news, if you would. Oh, now. The little Aust Oh, my lord. Ah, sorry, but I'll find the rhyme that's humorous, some kid. And what? Giovanni finally revealed the his wartime secrets? Good. Then we're fully at the same page now, aren't we? I suppose he told you about the catastrophe as well, then. Yes, that was Mewtwo was sh uh, well, well shut off in the Cerulean Cave, but I'm curious. Did he happen to know what became of Mew after the project was shut down? No? Very well. Keep up the good work, Ghost. You got a good friend in me. I'll talk to you later. Alright then, my guy. That is insane. So we learned some serious... Yo, we learned some serious news regarding it. So, my save file got deleted before, so I had to literally just get a new team up. So I literally just... I literally just, um, wreck-handed this team up that I randomly got. So basically, that's what's happening. So, what we need to do now is we can go through Vermilion... Uh, and we'll go through, I guess, uh, Diglett's Tunnel. But that is so insane listening to all, like, you know, the Great War and stuff like that. Bro! Come on. Come on. I'm a Rocky admin, my guy. I am a Rocky admin. I don't steal Pokemons. Alright, let's go through Vermilion. Uh, and we'll go through Diglett's Cave. Well, isn't this a surprise? Yes, it is, sir. 
So we'll make our way through that. But yo, that storyline is absolutely incredible though, right guys? That storyline was insane. So we finally got promoted to Rocket Admin. We're on our way to see Professor Oak and interrogate Professor O, which is absolutely going to be hilarious. I am so looking forward to this. And we're on to Route 2 here. Oh my, is there a tree in your path? Rest assured, I have no cause for dismay. Help is near. Yo, what? This man literally just... Really, he's literally cutting... Uh, oh my lord, would you like to bear witness to cutting wonders of mine? A thousand to cut down the tree. I swear if there's another tree here. <laughs> I just swear if there's another tree. Oh no, they actually just got rid of it. Okay, that's dope. So... Oh, yo, it's silver! That's what I was talking about! Oh, great. More of Dad's Goonies incoming now. Tell me, why does he do it? Order you all his dirty work. Why? Is it too much for a coward to do things himself? Why couldn't he? Just, just come along. Silver, my guy. It's not that serious. It was never any use, was it? Welcome to Viridian City, Ghost. Thanks, hon. Can we go in the gym? We actually can. Yeah, that's crazy. No need indeed. Uh, no new challenges have shown up as I expected. Oh, the child you saw earlier, he's going through the- up. Oh, um, bring in. There's a tough world he's born into, no mistake. He'll grow out of his rebellious face soon. Talk about a boring place to be stationed. Bro, I am your admin. I will have less of these talks. Bribe officer? I'll bribe you a thousand. Your bounty has been lowered to five grand? Thank you. <laughs> My bounty's been lowered to five grand. I'll try and get some more money and try and bribe off the guy. So let's make our way down to Pallet Town. You're level 18s already? Jesus, Red. Red was on the up and coming, my friends. Yo, Pallet Town is here. Yo, that's crazy. Okay, so let's see. So Professor Oak actually isn't here. What in Arceus name? A rocket in our innocent lab? What? No goodness, no. Professor Oak, he's not in. And I doubt very much he'd want anything to do with you if you were, if he were. I'ma steal your Pokemons then. Alright, stop right there, Rocket. It may be research aid, but I know better to let you put your dirty fingers on the Professor's rarest Pokemon. Get off, or I'll put these aids on you. Bro, give me the goddamn Pokemon. I will take on these guys. I don't care. So I wonder where... Let's go into Red's house. Oh, what the hell? Is that Agatha? Oh my. Now isn't this a surprise? In all my visits to Pallet Town over the years, I thought I'd never see a fellow like yourself in a peaceful place like this. You're here for Oak, aren't you? <laughs> well, I have no intention of stopping you. We have much more in common than you probably think, Rocket. Say, it's not often we see a new face around these parts. Come in for a cup of tea if you're not too busy. Pallet is such a wasteland for interesting tea conversations. Yo, this is Gary's sister. Well, well, your tea is excellent as always, Daisy. And the weather is so lovely. Oh, I do miss Pallet sometimes. Daisy here is my granddaughter ghost. In fact, with her brother away from Pokemon Quest, is part of the semblance of family she has left. Well, me and Professor Oak. When he bothers to show his face. Are we going to learn more juicy info? A long time ago, we were in a tight couple. Oak and I. Samuel and a man of honor. Back in those days, he valued strength, vigilance, and purpose. And he embodied it. We raised a son together in the image of those principles. He turned out a great man and blessed us with two more grandchildren to carry our values forward. But sooner than Blue, the youngest had been born. The war struck our family. Daisy and Blue both survived and our son and his wife both perished in the madness. Oh my lord. And Samuel and I swore. We swore that we would avenge them and we would bring down Lance and make him pay for taking our innocent children. Yeah. <laughs> Would you believe it? He swore to me. He'd give me his word, Ghost. And then, why, just a little while later, he committed the most heinous, cowardly, shameful act I ever saw. He was champion. General of the army. The most powerful man in Kanto. And he gave it up. All just to save his worthless skin. The soft, spineless fool. Surrendered to Lance is not even the man I loved. Even if he didn't stand a chance. Even if he's sticking it out, fighting for someone he believed in. He would have ultimately meant his death. At least it would have been an honorable one. Grandma, please. 
this is intense. I'm sorry, Daisy, for going there again. You know I had to guess sometimes. I better get going, darling. Always work to be done. Do take care of yourself and send your regards to your brother. He's such lovely kids. Yo, I genuinely don't know what is happening anymore in this game, but holy crap! I can't say I improve for what your boss is doing around Kanto Ghost, but I can say I don't sympathize with your frustration. Not quite the respect, but understanding. Until we meet again. That is insane. You know, I don't think Grandpa is really a bad person. He's really very cheerful and friendly. The way they show him the papers, he gave me a blue and happy childhood, and I'm grateful. But, you know, there's just one thing that always have bothered me. Oh my lord! Jeez, there you are, ghost. What's the hold up, dude? Get all Ronnie, my boy. We're just getting a little. Why? I've been looking for all you all over. Saw the inter of the friendly tea party and all, but yo, we got a professor to interrogate. Let's go hide on that old man, Oak. You got me tired of waiting. Oh no! Is it true you disgusting thug? Grandma was wrong to trust a rocket for company. I knew I should never allow it. Gee, ghost. You sure fixed yourself on a feasty date, huh? Well, no time for that now. We gotta hit up this lab pronto. In all my days, you are not going anywhere. I won't allow thugs to trespass our home and family. Yo, we're actually battling Daisy. Holy crap. Yo, the word though. Yo, that's insane. She has a chancy. It's a good job we actually have like a Nido Queen with double kick. And we're trying to learn body slam. Yeah, finally. You have a ponytail. Well, I do have a polyrath. So I guess that can actually work for something. And a Raichu. Yo, I have a golem. Yo, this is just working out right. And a need arena? Yeah, we can stay in. Steal a Pokemon from this trainer. Daisy, yes, I'm gonna steal your Raichu. I'm sorry. I will steal your Raichu. I do apologize. Call this guy Chewy. Whew, well done, Ghost. Quite the energy in this one. Hey, let's leave it to now. Stand back. Radicate! Hyperfang, go! Oh my lord! <laughs> Bro, Roddy, what did you just do? Well, good riddance. Pokemon that strong, the assuming girl like that. She's got some rich family or other, but I'll bet my kidney, Radicate, if you can't see, find any valuables around the to loot. We're robbing Daisy right now! But Blue! Oh, but Blue! He wasn't... He wasn't too bad to us, huh? What's the matter, Ghost? Why'd you look like you ain't ever seen a rocket in action? Ha! <laughs> you little sissy, you. I bet a good interrogation should wake you right up again, eh? No, oh, wait now? You checked the lab and the old guy's not even there? Well, gee, you ever talking about a big fat waste if I ever saw one? Well, it's a good thing that we got a bit of action just now, then. It's not a good day without at least one robber, am I right? I guess we might as well just head back to HQ. Yo, that's insane. That is actually insane. Yo, look at Daisy, though. I think Daisy's dead. I think Daisy's actually dead. She actually is dead. <laughs> we are going to get up on out of today's episode of our Pokemon Rocket Special Edition. This game is absolutely insane. The whole storyline. If you guys aren't playing along already, you should because it's absolutely insane. So we learned about the Great War. We learned about, like, Oak's actual, you know, take on the Great War. We learned that Agatha, you know, she does sympathize with what Giovanni's doing. It is absolutely insane. There is so much more. This beta actually goes up to seven missions. So we ended it off on our fourth, uh, on our third mission. So we do have four more. After this one, I'm guessing it's three. But this is absolutely insane, and I'm super looking forward to the next episode. If you guys are too, please show some love to that thumbs up button for me. Make sure you go ahead and demolish 300 likes. Subscribe if you guys are new. And with all that being said, you've been amazing, and I've been Fenitax. I will catch you guys back in the next video to come. Bye!